Good afternoon and greetings from Bill Beckin. Farmer Bill, the funds are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery, and we have an up close shot here of our La Crescent vines. And you can look back in the blog roll, and these are the vines that got fried on May 18th and May 19th when they were absolutely frozen right back down to the canes. They had already put out their primary buds and were beginning to flower. And we had an event that came along that was not only a frost, but qualified as a freeze from the standpoint that when I reached out to touch this beautiful droplet of water hanging off the leaf, it was solid. It looked like a drop of water with the sun shining through it, but it was ice. Pretty well as it did so, just kind of like uh, in all cases, the water expanded, broke the cell walls down, and they all rotted back off the cane, but it refoliated. And what you have come along are both secondary and tertiary buds, and they produce grapes as well. We're going to have maybe about a third to a half crop we would have had, though. It was very late, and we're not even sure, looking at those berries that I, or those grapes that I just showed you there, that we're going to end up finishing them, and we're not even sure what the quality will be. It's getting late. I'm filming this here on September 7th, Labor Day 2009, and while we had great vine regrowth, um, our, our, our clusters are not real numerous and not real large. This here, these are, are, are coming along. This must have been ones that didn't get hurt too bad. Uh, looking pretty good. Here, I want to take a taste of it. Ooh. A little tart. Bricks are coming up though. Doesn't pucker me up too bad. I don't know. Rough guess. My brother in law is better at that than I am. Uh, we're looking at maybe a, a grape there that's got a something in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 15 brooks maybe. Tasted like these would be less. That's a, uh, you can see a lot greener, a lot tighter. It's a white grape, so it's not gonna, it'll golden up, but it won't turn purple. This particular one. Uh, but you see how uh, those are a real, you have a golden on the one side, they get a little more sunshine, and that, that almost neon green on this side. We've got a race here. We're looking at September 7th. It's been cool again. I mean, we haven't had heat all summer long. Uh, and what I'm, I'm worried about is we got by the last full moon. A lot of times you can, you can get your full moon uh, passed, and if you get by that, you don't get a frost there. Usually late September, you know, we get a full moon and a clear night, you're going to get bit. Now this year the full moon is going to fall there first week in October, so any luck here. we got a whole month of ripening, and it's a nice warm day, and it's been warm here lately. We'll get her done. Uh, still, they're going to be marginal. Like I say, about half the yield, but hopefully we battled them back. They got through a tough spot, and we'll get some healthy vines growing along here. The center of the field's been struggling a little bit, and we lost a few that got flat out killed, too. Once again, Bill Back and the funds are from Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery in the La Crescent Vineyard with a crop progress report September 7th, 2009. Thank you for stopping by.